And as you can see here, I have a little Napa cabbage, uh, some uh, julienne sweet potatoes, some Honeycrisp apples, uh, oops, a little raspberry, and some, some Swiss chard in there. Just giving them a nice variety uh, with healthy fruits and vegetables, keeps them clean. Now, most of their diet is in the wild, like 90% meat. Uh, they hunt for most of their food, um, but also in the wild they tend to not be very healthy. Um, so adding these uh, these vegetables and stuff, especially in captivity, um, really helps the growth, um, really helps their colors, their healthy claws, um, they help them shed regularly, um, and so on. So, um, and then the beauty of this and using fresh produce as well is that the byproduct, the stems, the, the skins, the trimmings and, and anything that's uh, left over from the day before from their bowl. So let's say I put this in today, tomorrow I replace the bowl with a fresh one and I'm left with some not so fresh byproduct. And that actually goes in to feed my worms and the roaches. So uh, they eat that and they bulk up and they absorb those nutrients and then it goes right back into the animals once they eat the, uh, the worms. So I try to give them uh, every other day uh, worms um, and uh, substitute with co uh, cockroaches and crickets from time to time. But roaches freak me out and crickets stink. So I prefer to go with the worms. Uh, they're easier to take care of. Um, easier to handle um, and so on and so forth. So I hope you learned something today. Uh, number one, dragons are uh, wonderful pets. Uh, they, they are just like cats. Uh, they love to be rubbed, they love to be talked to, um, and they love to, to sit and hang out with you and cuddle and who doesn't like that? So um, that's it, take care, thank you. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it, thank you.